Welcome back to my channel. So here are the beautiful plants that I purchased from Pinders Farms. P-I-N-D-E-R-S. And I think they're super um, cool looking. I've never seen this one like at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, not sure if I ever saw this one. Um, not sure if I have something similar to it. It could be similar, but I feel still feel I still feel that it is different um, because these hooks are longer. So this one I definitely have never had or anything like that. And look, it's blooming. It's got more blooms, and it bloomed already in the past. They're super cute. And then this one is called an Echeveria spoon. I've never seen it before. In the beginning from far away i thought it was an aeonium so i was like no i don't want to get an aeonium right now because i'm terrible at them but this one is called an echeveria spoon so i figured i would get it um obviously i don't know the name of these cactuses i know that this is a euphorbia that's about all i know i don't know if this is like um golden lemon or something like that um these i don't feel like they hurt yeah they don't hurt so it's so cool looking. I like when I see um, multiples. I they I I they really draw my attention. I like clusters, so they really draw my attention. I just really like how they look. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. I want to pot these, but I don't want to really interrupt them too much. You know, um, they are going to go in the greenhouse. The only one I'm one um, thinking about is this one. Um, I did share a picture with maria from the succulent living and um she told me she used to have that one or has it i'm not sure and it's stretched out on her i did realize i have noticed that some euphorbias require more light than others they do or they won't be like nice and chunky uh, or they can lose their structure so yeah so i am thinking about either putting her outside the greenhouse or somewhere where she'll get a lot of light but i'm pretty sure it's going to have to be outside the greenhouse and hopefully it won't rot on me so and the reason i say this because i don't know how long this has been planted and if the roots have been established i don't know so yeah um so yeah let me set up and this probably be really quick because like i said i'm not trying to disturb anything just trying to pot them up and leave them alone okay right, guys I purchased this brick rack, brick rack, I think that is called, cactus, uh, off of Facebook, uh, locally. So I need to plant that. And, oh, I wanted to also talk about, um, this is the cactuses that were in the big fairy garden. When I pulled it out, I, there was no roots. There is still no roots, but I was trying to see if I should cut it. Here's, um... This looks like it because I cut some of it off. So I actually regret cutting it because it had already healed itself. See, this one I didn't do anything to it. This cactus, it's hardened. It already healed itself. Underneath, when you peel the brown, it looks really green. So I don't need to do anything to it. I just need, now I need to let that dry. Like callus or really good or it will get fungus. Which I think I do see like a bit of fungus in there. So gotta make sure I, i'll put cinnamon on that they say cinnamon is good for that but um yeah so this one i could definitely place on soil and let it root but this one i'll have to let it callous over better because i i did that yesterday already i cut that piece off and i regretted it i said i should have left it alone so now i need to let it just you know air out and dry out put some cinnamon on it see if that um prevents it from rotting but we'll see Anyways, let's get to potting this. Okay, let's see. Sometimes it takes me a good minute to set up my tripod because my tripod um, wants to give out, give out on me. Let's take this and put this here. Okay, now I just need to find some pots that I think will do for now, right? And of course, I forgot the mesh okay um so here we go these are the pots that i get at a home depot 
and I usually can't find them at all Home Depots. I like that they are they are five inches tall, but they are also wide. See, they're not like like this. I'll show you an example. They're not tall. They're wide. So I like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should use this one for that one or use the wider one. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Let's just see how it fits. So I have my usual soil, which is the miracle Grow one, because um, that's the only one I could ever find. I see many other people in California purchase different ones, but um, this is the one that I get to use. And they did change their formula. I can tell, you know, I feel like it's more sandy. I don't know what I just did because I have to see how much soil this the other one has. Oh, this one is a prickly one. So a good way to do this that I've seen, right, with this one that looks very aggressive. So what you can do is you can take a, a paw like this. You know wide enough where it fits this one kind of fits and it really came out really easy see and you don't have to really touch it and you can um, also grab it with your tongs um hmm. see this is why I was debating if I should use a deeper pocket this is pretty tall yeah and those um, these roots are pretty tight don't want to go too big on the pot you know because you don't want the pot that's too big taking so long and making a decision regarding a pot goodness oh, it's hot guys huh i'm like out inside the house whining i want to go outside but it's hot taller I can go taller Ooh, I feel bad because I feel like I may break, break blah, blah, blah. I might be breaking some spines there little ant try to hold it as gently as I can that looks better right there just like that Get that out of the way. <sighs> Already sweating. I want. I watched Melissa in her 40-minute video in that she just posted up, where she's revamping some pots. And um, I'm wondering because she's wearing long jeans. I wanted to go. Are you hot? What's the weather like over there in California? Because I'm wearing shorts. Well, my hair's down too. Uh, my hair's down though. Um, I'm wearing shorts and I'm hot and I just started out here and you know the sun is coming in and out it's not super sunny but it's hot yep I was wondering that while I'm watching her I am so looking forward to fall guys I am um, when it's first day of fall and it's the 22nd of September, I'm like, um, hmm, I want to see orange in my house already. I want to decorate. I want to see fall leaves. Um, I like decorating for fall. I don't, I don't decorate for Halloween, but I do decorate for fall. I love the colors. It's just, I don't know. And it makes me think of, I don't know, apple cider, just cinnamon. It makes me think about things like that. And I'm just ready. I'm ready. I'm ready and just, you know, I'm hoping that for the holidays, you know, things can go back to semi-normal. I know that. I definitely know that. Um, the holiday coming up will be very different for many people that have lost uh, loved ones 
dur you know during this during this time with the virus you know they lost loved ones so i know it's gonna be very different for them so um, my mind is on them as well you know we've been very fortunate no one close to us has you know passed away or had it I'm um, like I think my like had it bad you know my dad's wife in Georgia um, she tested positive and she has some symptoms but nothing to be hospitalized or anything like that and my dad didn't get um, anything I think he tested negative so yeah it's crazy how it works right so yep yeah. It's just right now the world you know like I don't watch the news currently right now I haven't been because it's just a really sad you know sad time right now um so yeah sometimes you gotta do that guys just unplug unplug and and spend time with your loved ones things that you guys like doing just do that you know enjoy each other's time and presence just enjoy each other and, and do stuff that you like um, I posted, I went to the beach, you know, I don't like going, how many times am I going to say, you know, <laughs> I don't like, like to the beach. I've never gone like alone, alone. Maybe when I was younger, I've gone alone, but yeah, I needed, I needed to go take a walk and just, you know, gather my thoughts and, and think about positive things. You know, I said it again. <laughs> Yeah, you have to um, you have to work at it. You know, I said it again. Goodness, you just have to work at trying to have a positive mind and positive thoughts. And I know it's easier said than done. I know that. I know, but you can do it. God has always helped me um, through everything. Through everything I've ever been through. God has helped me so um, you know with his help we can get through this and I know that we can so yeah so focus on the Lord focus on all the beautiful things that he's made to get through these times look at this cool one that one's so cool I love the colors such a vibrant cactus very cool mm, I think I might have to go with another tall one again I don't have many of those though this one's pretty wide yeah that, that will work the opening is pretty wide Wow, look at the roots, guys. Uh, that one's really like it was um really root bound. I need a bigger pot because it was root bound. So I need a bigger pot. Gosh, I'm really hoping to be able to use the pots, these pots that I have. I don't have tall enough pots. Okay. Maybe too much soil? I don't know what to do with this one. This one? That will work. Okay. Might be too much soil. So this one doesn't hurt. Nothing is sticking to me. I'm trying to make sure it stays upright while I fill it.
you know what? I don't know. It wasn't growing upright, you know, in the pot. It was kind of slanted, so it's going to look a little funky. So when I do this, and that I just put a plant in there without kind of disturbing the roots, I kind of make sure that I'm that the soil is going all the way down to the sides. Make sure there's no empty spots, no pockets of air. This one is all done. Push it down a little bit with my fingers. Okay. For this euphorbia, I think I'm going to use this one. Hopefully, every time I think I'm going to use a pot, I end up not being able to use it. So, this euphorbia, let's see. Ooh, <gasps> look at that! It's full of ants! Oh my gosh, you see that, guys? Wow, there's a nest in here. Okay. I'm going to have to, like, I'm going to hose this one down. I'm going to have to. Uh, the soil was uh wasn't com these roots were not root bound or anything it did not this is the roots that i had i didn't i don't feel like i, I broke any roots to my knowledge but it wasn't like the uh, like the other cactus or anything like that but yeah it was full of ants um i don't know if the ants so what worries me about ants the ants can bring mealy bugs and they have i've seen them do it so um that's my concern about that. Look, there's a bunch of ants on the tray, but they'll leave. They're gonna they're gonna go away somewhere else because they're they're looking for their nest and and probably their queen. I think I'm not sure how, but I imagine that that's how it is. But yeah, I'm glad I called it early because you just there was no bugs though. I didn't see any bugs. Um, only the ants. But yeah, the ants can bring other other bugs. a bunch of ants. Let me shake that off. Okay. It's gonna be hard to get them to shoo away. Doing Max. What you doing, Maxie?
Okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. I wanna keep putting, I'm smothering it in soil up here. I don't want the euphorbia sitting in soil. So I will put like, um, possibly some turfus on there. Okay, let's see. Now this one. That one, these hooks, I think they're called fish hooks and it's because they have a curve at the end. They really will snag into your skin. And the more you pull, like this way, the more it goes into your skin. So it's not, hold on. Hey guys, my daughter was talking to me, but another one that's full of ants, guys. Ooh, I just pulled this one out and it's full of ants. Now I'll have ants all over here again. I don't know what to do, how to get oh, rid of them. They just have nests in there. Not anything bad. They're carrying their eggs, but I just I just don't want it. Look, now that it's in the soil, they're all over the place. Goodness gracious. Let me clean this up. I don't know what to do. How am I going to clean this up? Gosh. There's no way I can get them out of the soil or just out of here. They're crawling all over me. The nursery could have gotten them like that and not know because they don't grow them. They just probably get them, you know? From nurseries that dedicate into growing them. So yeah, but look, there's a bunch of ants everywhere. So this was not easy. This, is, I still have ants crawling in there, but I washed it a lot and I found a little right there. I don't know if they did that. It is healed, but there was like ants in there with eggs. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do with this, I don't want to plant this right now into soil. I need it to have airflow, you know, um, just because, I, I don't know, I've never done that before, like with cactuses, so I don't know how sensitive they are or whatever. So I just feel comfortable not planting it today, not potting it today and just letting it rest. Um, I'll possibly put it somewhere where there's airflow. I wouldn't put it in my greenhouse because there's not a lot of airflow in my greenhouse. So I would just put it somewhere where, um, like, uh, my chairs. I have chairs that have, like, little holes in it. Um, and there's airflow. Airflow can go through it. And that's what I would feel comfortable with this one. Um, I mean, I could bring it inside as well, and it should be fine inside. But, yeah, I'm not going to pot this one right now. Um, I hope the other ones do not have ants because that's going to be a pain in the butt. I don't know where to place this right now. Let me find somewhere to place this. Okay, no big deal about that one. I'll probably pot her up tomorrow. Um, let me go ahead and look at this. Um, I put everything on the floor. So I try to let the ants leave because they, they will leave because they're in search of the of the queen and the eggs. So, but yeah, they're like scrambling everywhere right now. Like I said, I mean, I don't feel the ants themselves living there can hurt them. They possibly can. I don't even know if they're the ones who created the hole in that cactus. I think there's a spider in here too. I'm not sure. Something either fell or moved. Gosh, let me see. I'm scared now. <laughs> Woo! There is a spider. Where did it go? <laughs> I think it went underneath. I think it went underneath here. Oh, gosh. This is hasn't been fun, guys. Has not been very relaxing, I have to say. It's been a little scary. 
Gosh, is there any more bugs in this thing? I mean, this plant has signs of I need help. I need help like um, maybe it needs more soil, a bigger pot. I don't know because I'll tell you. You know what I'm going to do with this one? I think I'm just going to probably chop it off. I think that's what I might do. Yeah, I think I might do that. <gasps> Goodness gracious. It's been a lot of work. Okay. Let's see here. See? There's a lot of roots there. And, and many times it does that because, you know, maybe it doesn't have good soil and it's storing off aerial roots to be able to get, um, gather more water, you know? I don't know. So for now, I'm going to do that. And then I am. That spider scared me. I, I knew I saw something moving, but I was unsure. I didn't know if it was a leaf that fell, but yeah, so. You know, the soil is very dry, and um, since this is gonna, uh, since this plant is gonna go in my greenhouse, um, I'm inspecting it, make sure that I don't see any mealy bugs, because I do see white, but the white could be the plant itself, you know? Hard water, so yeah, it could be hard water as well, I don't know. I don't see any mealy bugs, so. This will be fine here. Um, hmm. This is crested right here. Obviously, I won't throw this away. I'm not gonna throw that away. I'm gonna let it continue to grow. This is a pretty crested one right here. Look, it has roots all the way up to here. Neighbor doggies heard me. Some of these, I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm a little scared of it now because of uh, the spider. Okay, I think we're safe. A lot of dead leaves. This has roots all the way up here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it here. Hopefully that's roots that I'm seeing, yeah. There you go. See? That's fine. Again, I'm putting it in super dry soil and it's going in my greenhouse, so it should just do just fine. It's three, It's about to be 3 o'clock and um, the sun starts to hit this side around that time. So I need to hurry up. Let me try to finish this one. There's a little spider. Little spiders don't scare me. It's the big ones. This has... Oh, did I just cut that root by mistake? be fine. There's some root right here. This is, I think, kind of a crested one right there. Thank goodness. Some shade. My neighbor. She's going to say hi. She doesn't know that I'm recording. I'll say hi first, I guess. 
Hola Gladys. Así, bien, estoy haciendo un video. Yes, you can say. Hi. Dile, dile, hi everybody. Yo siempre le hablo de ustedes, pero en inglés. Yes. My neighbor says hi, guys. I told her that I'm making a video. Yeah. My, be my best neighbor in this world. She's so sweet. <laughs> She's so sweet. It's true. Thank you, Gladys. You are too. Thank you. Yeah. De nada. She's just letting me know that her little doggies are coming out and they always come running to see if Maxie's out so th that they can bark at Maxie. So I make sure that Maxie's inside. Because the, um, them barking will encourage her to be, you know, like at the fence trying to get trying to get at them. Even though she's a friendly dog with other dogs, but I think dogs, when they're in their own property, um and they feel i guess maybe threatened i think they they tend to want to defend their you know their property because they literally come running to bark at the fence look they're already coming but they don't see maxi so they might not bark It's such a blessing when you get along with your neighbor. You have a very good relationship. You wouldn't change it for the world. Okay. Yeah, she's like a like a mom for me. My mom doesn't live here. My mom lives in Puerto Rico. And uh, she's like a mom for me. She's really sweet to me. I think that one is packed already with lots of plants, so I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Once these, I, actually, you know, I'm rethinking how packed it looks. So actually, I think I might wanna separate that. But we'll put it in a, um, in one of these that I like to use for propagation, in one of the plastic ones, I'll put them in there. goodness I'm too rough with that one but so this one won't go outside this will go in my greenhouse because um some of them still well they need to callus over I gotta make sure they don't get rained on uh, they need to callus over and what else was I gonna say I could to be gentle with this one I think I'm gonna take this one out it's a crested one anyways yeah they have to heal they cannot have um i'm putting in a dry soil they have to heal they cannot have water and so that heals so i would say i don't know i'll probably leave it in my greenhouse for like a week a week and a half yeah and once they feel nice and sturdy in there then i'll bring them out of the greenhouse but yeah That looks a little better, more room. And then that one, the one that I pulled out. Um, I need a bigger pot, a bigger plastic pot. So this one, I'll just put it in a bigger plastic pot um, and add a bunch of soil and just let it grow these other ones. And then when they're ready, I'll cut them off. And they'll just, that'll probably be a plant that I just continue to use as propagation. That's what I'll probably do with that one. Sometimes what I like to do with the leaves, I'll throw them on the rocks and let them propagate. If they propagate, great. Which they do. I had to do a video about that. Show you guys. Um, my succulents growing on rocks and sand. That's the only thing that's there. There's no soil. It's just rock and sand. And they look beautiful. I gotta show you guys. Okay, so this is gonna be my last one, guys, because... Uh, thank goodness the clouds are out. 
I'm so thankful because it was getting hot. Hopefully, this one does not have um, any ants. And I can finish off what I'm doing. It's so pretty. Look at it. So pretty. Let's see. Oh, yes. I already saw. I don't even want to. Look, I'm going to go ahead and move this down. It's full of ants. So that will be another one that I need to uh, rinse out. So I think I'm going to stop for now, guys. And then when I do that, I'll probably, I don't know, I'll see you tomorrow if I have time, hopefully. Uh, Mon Mondays, I have a lot of things to do Monday. So uh, it's the beginning of the week and I have a lot to do. So we'll see if I get to finish um, this video for you guys. I wanted it to put it up already because I told you guys I was going to show you. But yeah. I mean, it's not a big deal. I guess I can end it. So, okay. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and end the video right here. Because um, the last one is full of ants as well. So that's just going to take me a long time. And um, I'm just going to... I'll show you guys in another video what they look like potted up but um here this is what i was able to finish today is this one and those and i'll just put i guess um turfus on there for now to top them off not these these i'm gonna leave alone for now and then this one i'll place in another bigger plastic um container just so that i can add more soil and give it a better chance to keep reproducing plants uh, i will also place it somewhere probably like um underneath my um overhang where it won't get rained on it'll get good sun but not rained on because it does have wounds that i've opened up so let's keep that in mind i wasn't able to pot up the other ones because they were full of ants and i had to wash them um they're sitting out drying i want to inspect them make sure they don't have any ants you know before i pot them up so i just wanted to go ahead and show you these they're all set look at the riffraff i think it's super cute i can't wait to watch it to see it bloom and then this one and that one i think they look super cute can't wait to place them in the greenhouse this is the only one that i am unsure um i'll just have to make sure if i am going to put it in the greenhouse i need to make sure she's going to get a spot where she's going to get a lot of light and not lose her her shape so yeah anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching um have a blessed day and um yeah Thank you guys for all your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.